The wave of enlightenment that swept across Europe brought great change for the Jews in the land that is currently known as the Netherlands. In 1795, the widely supported Batavian Revolution deposed the traditionally organized Dutch Republic and established the more liberal Batavian Republic. Under the Batavian Republic, Jews were emancipated in 1796. The Upper Consistory, or Upper Consistory, was placed in charge of the Jewish communities throughout the Batavian Republic and acted as the Jewish representative within the government. They attempted to centralize the Jewish community by uniting all formerly autonomous synagogues in all 11 provinces of the country. The process of centralization undermined the traditional structure of the autonomous Jewish community. For example, the Beit Din, Jewish courthouse, could no longer preside over legal affairs and its jurisdiction was limited to religious matters. The Oper Consistory was removed upon the French invasion of the Netherlands, but then replaced by the Hoof de Commissie tot de Zaken der Israeliten, the Supreme Committee on Israelite Affairs. Unlike the Upper Consistory, the Hof de Commissie's goal was not only to centralize Judaism, but to nationalize it. They did this by banning Yiddish and encouraging the usage of Dutch in synagogues. The Hof de Commissie also implemented translating the Torah into Dutch and integrated Dutch culture into other aspects of Jewish life. All bans held against Jews by the working guilds were repealed after emancipation, and later the guilds were abolished altogether. After emancipation, Jews in the Netherlands continued to remain in the same lower-level jobs, only a, with a small portion of them working in the elite professions of the society. Emancipation also changed the nature of the Jewish identity. Both the Oper Consistory and the Hoof de Commissie rendered Judaism as only a religion by replacing all non-religious aspects with items from Dutch culture.